<laughs> Some of you might know our next guest from the popular band Fall Out Boy or from his latest electro pop venture, Black Cards. He's also working with Rock the Vote, who are ramping up for a social media powered 2012 election. Please welcome Pete Wenz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you people, people hollering and hooting for you here. I know. So, Black Cards, it was so fun to see this band. I actually saw you at South by Southwest a few years with your other bands. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. So, you're like, you're always starting something new, it seems. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what inspired this one and why electro pop? You know, I mean, I think it started about a year ago mm -hmm. or a year and a couple of months ago. And it's funny when you do like a new band, you like, I mean, when you, when, when you first do a band, you're trying to figure out the sound and no one's really watching, so it doesn't matter. And like you do it slowly. And mm -hmm. this probably has taken nine months or a year to figure out like what we were actually doing and what our lane was. But you're doing it in front of all of a sudden a lot more people. So people are like, what does this mean? I'm like, I don't know. But isn't that cool to now bring people along that process? That's part of showing, you know, a bit underneath the hood. Yeah, I don't think people really want to look under the hood <laughs> unless it's like a great, like, sweet engine. You know, people are like, what is this? <laughs> so you're going to be touring April 18th through May 2nd. Yep. Which is going to be awesome. What can people expect from this show? Because you have a lot of mixtapes now. Is it, how does it work as a live show? Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's like uh, bringing a house party on stage. Yeah. You know, and we have a good time. It's definitely, uh, I think that with Fall Out Boy, there was, a, it, there was kind of a, it was, it was cathartic. It was definitely about um, emoting. And I think that this is like, be happy, have fun. That's cool. <laughs> now you have these mixtapes. Why did you decide to release mixtapes? I think that uh, music and art can kind of be consumed in all kinds of different ways. Mm. And I think that one of the, the great things is you can get a lot of music out there um, and people are, I mean, I, I just think that the, the delivery system for something like Black Cards maybe makes sense to do um, virally and you kind of give other people ownership of the music as well. Um, that doesn't mean that there needs to be a physical release, but they feel, you know, albums feel very 20th century. Yeah, no, I think that's really cool that you mentioned that because do you feel like you approach music in a different way now with all these digital tools and how you release the music? Um, there's so many digital tools out there in the world. There's a lot of digital <laughs> tools. I, I looked that up on Wikipedia, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that the, the great thing about uh, social media is that you're, people constantly, I think bands and artists constantly use it to broadcast, but the thing that's really cool about it is you should be listening. You know, it's not, it's, it's got to be a two-way street, and that's, you, you have to be able to take the temperature of, of you know, or, or put your finger on the pulse of what's happening. Mm -hmm. And that's the great thing. It's like, uh, maybe like six years ago, my brother, who's here, shout out. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, there I see him. Um, it was like, yeah, everybody's on Facebook now. And that's when Fall Boy switched all of our stuff over to Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I think that by listening and, and seeing what younger people are into, um, I don't know. Those I, young people. Those young people. <laughs> well, you also, so you have a record label. Like, people don't mm -hmm. realize you've helped bands um, like Panic at the Disco and Gym Class Heroes. Like, you found them, which is amazing. Like, a lot of people might not realize that. What do you look for in up-and-coming bands and talent? I think that what I look for is uh, it's kind of a, something that's intangible. Mm -hmm. uh, because people are always like, what does it need to be? And we work with everybody from like, you know, Cobra Starship to, to Panic and, and everything in between. And I think it's um, people are who are willing to hustle, uh, who are true to themselves. And you have to be willing to like get out and hit the road. But at the same time, I think that um, engaging people on the internet is really important. But I think just doing one or the other doesn't really make sense in the world the way it is right mm -hmm. now. A lot of people see you as a musician, but you do a lot of, you have companies. Do you look at yourself <laughs> as an entrepreneur? When I look at myself in the mirror, I see <laughs> myself as a 14 year old still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a very smart, you know, professional 14 year old. Yeah, like a Doogie Howser. <laughs> Doogie Howser, <laughs> nice. Uh, but you also- I'm still the same height as when I was 14 as really? well. Really? So you were, uh, you went, 
through uh, puberty than early. <laughs> I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> um, no, but I was amazing in like researching how much stuff you're involved with, to be honest. On the Wikipedia? So, yeah, I was looking on the Wikipedia. No. But um, I guess how do you decide what you want to take on and what you don't want to take on? Uh, I like to take on things that are interesting to me that I'm passionate about. I don't, I don't really uh, care too much about the money. I know like more has to come in than goes out. But yeah. uh, in general, if I don't want to be working with someone and it's not fun for me, mm. then... I won't do it, you know. Like this, sh this show seemed a, like a lot of fun. Uh, got called last night, and I was like, "Sure, I'll get up at eight and drive through I the, appreciate Avenger, that. the Avengers no, that's red awesome. carpet I to get so here." I appreciate that. Avengers red carpet shut down my ride. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no, but you got here, so thank you. Now you're also very vocal about what you think on Twitter and social media and your thoughts on politics and everything. Definitely. So um, you were involved, you know, in the 2008 election with Rock the Vote. Absolutely. So why was it important to get involved with that? I think uh, Rock the Vote and, and other, you know, venues that are encouraging young people to get involved are really important. I think that um, obviously I th with that election, I think the youth vote was really strong and, and, and really helpful for um, uh, the deciding process, but I think that Rock the Vote, uh, it's great because I think that so many things that you can com become involved with feel like a little bit like you're indoctrinating people. Mm -hmm. And I think the great thing about Rock the Vote is it's just a positive message about getting involved in, this, in the, the electoral system. And um, Why is it that people now aren't energized? Like, How do we get the youth more involved? Because there does seem to be a bit of a lax attitude leading up to the 2012 election. I think that the 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 youth, um, the, the kids. <laughs> well, all of us. I mean, it could be it's it's adults and some of the younger voters. I mean, I think that the. I mean, it's so nerdy to talk about, but I no, think that get nerd I, out, I, please nerd out. I think out. that that was a that election was a change election, and yeah. I think that that is always appears to be more exciting. Uh, definitely feels younger. I think that this this election is where. I mean, I, I, th I think that it's, it's not as exciting because it's not a change election, you know? And I think that people still do need to get involved because you're going to make big decisions that are going to affect um, your future, I think, w in regards to the economy, in regards to, like, so many different things, you know? But uh, we'll see. All right, so now Rock the Vote has a new cool thing that makes it easy. So tell me about what this T-shirt yeah, is all this about. Yeah, for Scan the Vote. And I think that one of the things that... One of the, you know, in talking to, to kids, one of the things that I think that is most troubling for them is that it's really hard to register to vote. And uh, Rock the Vote's kind of done this really cool um, barcode T-shirt that you can actually just... Um, you scan the barcode. So there's bar On your phone. Yeah, there are barcode scanning apps, and you scan the barcode, and then you right away you can register to vote. You can register to vote. Um, you can become involved. You can read about the different candidates. Um, and we were talking earlier, and there's an interesting, uh, there's an, there was an interesting fact where uh, Canada, which does have on online registration, has uh, a 93, 93% 93 um, people registered. Yeah. And then versus the paper in the United States. We only have 68% like yeah. people registered to vote in the US. So go do it because. You know, they make it hard, but now rock the vote, and they're making it more digital, which is, it's all about going digital right now and making it accessible. Well, I think m making it easy to become involved is really important, and I think that will definitely encourage um, young people and people of all ages. Th I think the more open the system can be and the more accessible it can be, uh, the better it will be for everybody to be involved. Definitely, and your parents, people don't might not realize your parents met during the election back in the day. Yeah, they met working on um, Joe Biden's campaign. <laughs> yeah, shout out mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Pete, for being here today. We no really problem. appreciate it. And remember, go to rockthevote.com for more info. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And of course, register to vote. Black Cards could be coming to a city near you soon, so find out that at blackcardsmusic.com. And follow Pete on Twitter, will you? Please. Go do it. At Pete Wentz. He needs all more kinds followers. Of important stuff. You really do. <laughs> Thank you, hon. Thanks. Thanks so much for coming.